Hello, welcome to a new week. I am sitting in front of Moss Lady in Beacon Hill Park. It is an absolutely gorgeous day in Beacon Hill Park and I am thoroughly enjoying my stroll around today. Tim is out playing soccer today. He was roughing a game this morning and playing this afternoon. Trini is doing what teenagers do, sleeping in, having a lazy Sunday. And I am just strolling around the park today. Getting out, enjoying nature, feeling my feet on the earth feeling myself connecting to the ground and just totally enjoying my day. I had the morning planning yoga classes, planning a yoga class for somebody else's YouTube channel. I'll probably hopefully film that this week. And now it's time to come out and just uh, let go of all that kind of tension that comes from working on electronic equipment in the morning and being at a computer for the morning and just let that go. I've come down to the beach, it's such a beautiful day. Sun is shining. It's quite high tide actually. Try not to get wet. And in a beach with mostly grey rocks, this orange rocks caught my eye. Hello, it is Monday morning and I'm at the bottom of Mount Doug. I had a wonderful morning with uh, members from our membership community. We did our live meditation. We do this every Monday at 9.30 Pacific and 5.30 Pacific. And oh my God, listening to you guys talk about your experience, it was amazing. And I enjoyed talking about my experience with the meditation too. Um, so, and, and then after I had a meeting with Ivy, she heads up our devotional section. So it was a lot of time on the computer this morning. So we've come out for a nice walk. It's drizzling a bit, but it should be good in the forest. Here we go. We are on our way on the foothills of Mount Doug walking through the forest. Tim has picked up a ginormous maple leaf. I can see up ahead. Tim, hold up that leaf for us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tim's making another appearance in my vlog this week. Tell us how you're feeling today, Tim. <laughs> it's so nice of you to show up on my vlog. You look sunshiny and happy. <laughs> Do you think I could get in this tree, Tim? Okay, I actually got in the tree. <laughs> even I even have my backpack on and I fit in it. So if I ever needed shelter, I could come back here and find shelter. I don't think it would make a very good house per se, but maybe from rain, maybe. <laughs> it's pretty cozy in here, to be honest. Not, not for sleep or anything, but I don't know, it's kind of neat.
I need Tim. <laughs> if I put my foot on that, see how big these roots are. It's huge. here. Let me look back down around, especially around the other tree. Little steps up the mountain, thanks to the tree roots. Nature steps. I've noticed right now there's a whole bunch of new growth, baby growth of ferns. There's older growth of ferns as well, but there's a lot of this really new baby growth of ferns. So Tim was saying maybe it's because of all the rain that it's just the perfect conditions for the new ferns to start to grow. Almost at the top. Tim says I have an unusual affinity for ferns right now, but these ones are really small and they feel, it's maybe the dirt coming off on my hands, but they feel really neat when you run your fingers across them. They're really pretty. They're really delicate, these ones. Look how delicate the, the leaves are on these ones. Okay, we walked down to the bottom of the mountain again and then we drove up to the top and now Tim's flying the drone up here. It's so beautiful when you come all the way to the top of the mountain. You can have 360 degree views <laughs> all the way around. I need a 360 camera for up here. <laughs> it's probably about the only time I need one, <laughs> but up here would be nice. <laughs> are coming down Mount Doug right now and it's raining <laughs> and the reason why I'm filming right now is we're coming up on some pumpkins people put their pumpkins on the side of the road here every year and so I wanted to be able to show you that so it's coming up <laughs> here it is I'm gonna put my window down Okay, that's way too fast. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to come back when we have more time. And I will show you that it was like an orange blur. Exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my God. We will come back when we have more time and I will stand on the side of the road and risk life and limb and, yeah. and just film it slowly. Okay. okay. Hello, it is Wednesday morning. I just spent some time setting up our film set, which I did a time lapse of, so you can see it's kind of handy filming inside because at least our space gets cleaned up every week. The place gets a cheeky little vacuum. 
And um, this morning, I love this tool. This is this tripod is on wheels, which I love this. I love the look this gives. It just makes it look like we have a crane, <laughs> which I love. And it gives it such a smooth shot. And it puts, because when I film, there's a lot of long holds, and particularly today's show, you'll see. When you do Yoga with Melissa 355, I believe, it's the class on endurance. There is a lot of long holds in this class. So from a cinematic perspective, it's a very boring show. So <laughs> the way we can make it less boring is to put movement in the shots. And so this tool was definitely a must today. But I, this is what I love when we come indoors is that we can use this tool. This rolls around on the ground and it gives a lot of movement to the shots when, particularly in this style of yoga, there often isn't a lot of movement. And I know there's a lot happening inside. <laughs> that's, th that's what happens with this style of yoga. There's so much going on inside. But just from a visual perspective in this style of yoga, often there can be like nothing happening on the screen. So when we're outside, there's, there's things happening in the background. There's a lot of movement happening in the background. But when we come inside, I think we have to uh, create movement in the scene and, and I like doing that with this. Well, I, I'm happy that Tim does that with this for me. So there you go. There's a little um, a little film school for you this morning, if, even if you didn't want it. <laughs> Good morning. It is Thursday and I don't know, you can't even really see me. I'll get a little wet. <laughs> we are on our way to Goldstream to see the salmon run. It's almost November here, so it's rainy season. <laughs> In case I hadn't already told you, it's pretty much gonna rain now, from now through January here. But we're going to watch the salmon run at Goldstream. It is absolutely pouring down. We still haven't made it to Goldstream because we keep finding beautiful things along our way and we get distracted and we stop. But we'll get there eventually. I'm not thinking this could get much more beautiful today. <laughs> the one thing about all this rain is it creates all this gorgeous flowing water and all these beautiful waterfalls. We made it to Goldstream and the salmon are running in the river behind me. So actually see all those little dots in the river? They look like little <laughs> flecks. Those are dead salmon in the bottom of the river. So we're gonna go down and take a look. There we go, scale. <laughs> As tall, six feet, almost six feet in diameter. Get in, Tim. <laughs> Tim's wearing shorts today. It snowed on the East Coast today, but Tim's wearing shorts here. <laughs> I am not wearing shorts. Who needs this sign in their house? <laughs> So thanks for watching this week. It was so amazing to watch the salmon 
swimming upstream this week and it just reminded me about everything we've been focusing on and the live meditations in the membership community and in our motivational meetups um, in the membership community this week as well that we don't have to swim upstream we can we can go with the flow so that is that is uh we don't have to be like the salmon we can go with the flow we can we can go downstream so thanks for watching this week if you enjoy the vlog subscribe to the channel because we put out a new one every single monday and we love taking you on our adventures thanks for being with us